saying? I'm making them stars, real. That's my opinion. I'm keeping it real because of the answers that they do. You get what I'm saying? You know, sometimes you can talk too much and then ruin the blessings for yourself. I heard it from myself. Why do I have to fight them? To us, because at the end of the day, it's about the new ski. You get what I'm saying? So I'm going to keep it real. I'm, I'm going to, if I had it my way, I'm going to make them stars. You know what I'm mm. saying? He don't even want to worry about the fight that he got coming up. So that's it for me. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV, back at y'all with another one. So what you just heard was longtime trainer, mentor, big brother, father figure, Coach Calvin Ford to undefeated three-division world champion who simultaneously held the WBA super title at super featherweight, the WBA regular title at lightweight, the WBA regular title at junior welterweight, superstar boxer Javante Tank Davis, who has 28 wins, no loss and no draw, 26 bins by way of knockout. He is 28 years of age, 5'5 five five with a 67-inch arm each. He's heading into the biggest fight of his career, April 22nd, against undefeated, lightweight, junior welterweight, Mexican superstar title contender, King Rod Ryan Garcia, who has a record of 23 wins, no loss and no draw, 19 wins by way of knockout. He is 24 years of age, 5'10 with a 70-inch homage. Coach Calvin Ford said that they, they are going to make undefeated, undisputed, lightweight world champion superstar boxer Devin the Dream Haney, who has 29 wins, no loss and no draw, 15 wins by way of knockout, 24 years of age, 5 foot 9 and a half with a 72 inch arm reach. They're going to make him starve. They're not going to look to fight Devin Haney because of the antics, he stated, the antics that Devin Haney and his father, trainer, manager, CEO of DHP, Devin Haney Promotions, Bill Haney has. Now, imagine this. Imagine when Floyd Mayweather and his antics or the things he stated, Floyd Mayweather, legend, icon, Hall of Fame, superstar, five division world champion, pound for pound king, pay-per-view king. He stated when it came to him fighting legendary eight division world champion, iconic Filipino superstar boxer, he said that only thing Manny Pacquiao could do is cook him fried rice, right? And vegetables and things of that nature. Insulting, that's an insult to the Asian community. So imagine if Manny Pacquiao then turned around and said, well, we ain't going to fight Manny Pacquiao. We ain't going to fight Floyd Mayweather in the biggest fight in the boxing history because he insulted our community. That's the beauty about the sport of boxing is that you get to settle it, all your differences in the ring. Imagine Joe Frazier saying, I'm never going to fight Muhammad Ali or I'm going to freeze out Muhammad Ali because of the antics that Muhammad Ali had towards Joe Frazier. Bill Haney and Devin Haney, quote unquote, antics towards Javante Tank Davis and his team is nothing in comparison to what Muhammad Ali did with Joe Frazier. He called Joe Frazier everything under the sun. He insulted Joe Frazier's blackness. He called Joe Frazier a monkey. He called Joe Frazier a coon. He called Joe Frazier everything under the sun. And they fought. They have three historic fights because the best part the beauty of it is you get to settle your differences in the ring imagine what mike tyson and mitch green mitch blood green went through in their careers and they had an epic fight they even had fights outside of the sport of boxing they had fights at clubs mitch green and mike tyson and then they still have fights inside the square circle to settle their differences and get paid. Imagine Javante Tank Davis, he fought Rolando Roley Romero. He's two fights removed from fighting Roley Romero. Well, Roley Romero insulted Javante Tank Davis a plenty of times on plenty of occasions. Not only did he do that, but Coach Calvin Ford and Rolando Roley Romero's trainer was getting into it. Javante Tank Davis and uh, Roley Romero's trainer Bullet Gibson, they got into it. They even talked about who's street and who's not street, taking it to the streets. Coach Calvin even went as far as to say who can win out of Bullet Gibson, the trainer, and himself, right? So Devin Haney and Bill Haney going at Javante Tank Davis, especially having history with the two glorified sparring sessions, it makes the storyline even bigger. Why are we talking about money? He's saying that 
we're going to freeze them out and not let them eat. Well, the last time I checked, Devin Haney is making more money than Ryan Garcia, your upcoming opponent in a massive pay-per-view fight, April 22nd. He's made more money in his career than Ryan Garcia within the sport of boxing. Ryan Garcia makes his qualms outside of the sport of boxing. Hence the reason why people look at Ryan Garcia as a social media fighter and not a real boxer. Roly Romero, he has weighed nowhere near close to money that Devin Haney has made within his career. So he says that we're going to starve Devin Haney. You're not starving Devin Haney. You're starving the fans. Devin Haney is eating. He stated that Devin Haney is not focused on his upcoming opponent, which is Olympic two-time gold medalist, three-division world champion, Ukrainian superstar boxer, Vasil Hitek Lomachenko, who in all reality is the most decorated and accomplished fighter that either Devin Haney or Javante Tank Davis has fought within their career. Lomachenko is more decorated than anybody Javante Tank Davis has on his record and anybody that Devin Haney has on his record. And Devin Haney hasn't said a word regarding Javante Tank Davis. Now, Bill Haney, who promotes his son and is going to keep his son relevant, right? And is the CEO of DHP Promotions and is his manager. He's going to sell his fighter. And that's what he's supposed to do. So Devin Haney has not been talking about Javante Tank Davis or anybody for that matter. And if you want to make it, uh, you want to be technical until Devin Haney uh, saw the comments that was made by Javante Tank Davis this past week at Javante Tank Davis's press conferences for Ryan Garcia, the comments he made towards Bill and Devin, Devin just responded to Javante Tank Davis. He has not mentioned Javante Tank Davis. Lomachenko and Devin Haney are going to fight May 20th. The WBA, World Boxing Association, has stated that they are willing to order Devin Haney versus Javante Tank Davis next because Javante Tank Davis has the WBA regular title. Now, imagine all of the trash talk Floyd Mayweather did towards one Olympic gold medalist, sixth division world champion, Mexican-American superstar, legendary, retired Hall of Fame, iconic boxer, and Oscar the Golden Boy De La Hoya when he called him out repeatedly, right? Oscar De La Hoya is turning around and saying, I'm never going to give you the opportunity to eat. I'm going to starve you out. Again, they're not starving out Devin Haney because he's making big money. Is he making the money that Tank Davis makes? Maybe not. But he's making more money than all of the other young fighters and even Lomachenko. Right? So he's making more money than Teofimo Lopez, Ryan Garcia, Roly Romero, Shakur Stevenson, and Vasil Lomachenko. So he's the second highest grocer in this young crop of fighters, only behind Javante Tank Davis. So you're not starving out Devin Haney. You're starving out the fans from getting the fight that they want to see. And furthermore, it's the storyline that should be admired. You have history. You get to settle it in the ring. You get to fight Devin Haney and shut up his dad, Bill Haney, and shut up Devin Haney. You get to, that's the beauty of the sport of boxing, is that you get to physically have a confrontation legally and, and shut everybody up. That's the beauty of it. But just imagine LeBron James saying, well, Kevin Durant thinks he's better than me. He's calling me out. He's saying things. I'm never going to play against him. Imagine Deion Sanders in, in the past saying, well, Jerry Rice is talking all this talk. I'm never going to line up on him. It has nothing to do with the antics. History in the sport of boxing. There's plenty of fighters that did a bunch of trash talking. Right. There's many people thought Muhammad Ali crossed the line on so many different occasions. Look at the situation between Lennox Lewis and, Maha and Mike Tyson. Lennox Lewis, Mike Tyson went as far as to say he wanted to eat his kids. That didn't offend Lennox Lewis because Lennox Lewis said, I can settle this in the ring. That's the beauty of the sport of boxing. Again, like I said, Floyd Mayweather stated that only thing Manny Pacquiao can do is make him fried rice. Right? Alluding to the culture of Asian people. Imagine if Manny Pacquiao said... I don't like his antics. I'm never going to fight him. That is a poor excuse for the best fighting the best. The best need to fight the best, period. And I saw people uh, stating that, yeah, you should freeze them out. The fans saying you should freeze them out. The fans that state that this fight should be frozen out should be ashamed of themselves, period. 
you should want to see the best fight the best. That's it. Point blank and period. Again, history. If you look at the history with certain fighters, again, look at Muhammad Ali and Joe Frazier's situation. Joe Frazier, he despised Muhammad Ali even to the day he transitioned. Look at the look at the history. So drop a comment in the comment section, man. This is what boxing has come to. Let me know what y'all think, man. Drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV. Hate, like, comment, and subscribe. That's all I got for y'all, man. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Blood Sports TV. All one word. Peace. Hey, Bumgarner. You're watching Blue Blood Sports TV. Wow.